What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm just going to be doing a quick video covering merging two models using Blender because a lot of people seem to have issues with it but uh, it's really not any more complicated than it is doing it with 3ds Max. So we're going to be covering that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've got Autodesk's official FBX converter. You can grab that from this page here. Grab the 2013.3 converter. Once you've got the converter installed, then you're going to want to go to the FMDL Studio menu here and go to Set FBX Converter Path. From there, you want to navigate to the installation location, which will be at something similar to this Program Files Autodesk FBX FBX Converter 2013.3. Now, you do not want to select this UI file, that's just an interface for it. You want to go into the bin folder and select the actual FBX converter here. You want to hit open on that, and it is now set up. The next thing we need to do is grab the models we're going to be merging. In this case, I'm going to be using the male Diamond Dog Soldier Balaclava along with the Night Vision Goggles because that's a topic that came up recently on the modding discord, so I figure it's a good place to start. So we want the uh, Elaclava that is in Ova, no, Ova Common Source Chara CM Head Face, and then it's DS5 Head here. And there's that one. And then we need the night vision goggles. And they are in pack, collectible, common. This thing has its DPP item. And then their THM. So now we've got both of these. Next, we need to figure out where the goggles are supposed to sit on the head. And the game normally does this through uh, a connection point. We can figure out where this connection point is by opening any of these files, really. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to use the Diamond Dog Mail body, so that's in pack, player parts, PL parts, DD Mail. And you'll see this FCNP file here, and that gives you all of the connection points. And then you will, you're going to want to have a FCNP tool. Go ahead and drag the FCMP file onto FCMP tool. That'll spit out an XML. And this will tell you all about all of the connection points the model has. So in this case, we want CNP THM. And this is the connection point for the goggles. So we can see that the parent here is scale 004 head and then it's offset by these values here. So we're going to want to grab calculator here. And we want to grab the global position of scale 004 head. So if we go in here and look at that, see that the global position here, 0 0.38. So copy that, paste it in here. Grab the Y value from here and add them together. So 0 0.461 is our Y value for these. We'll go ahead and put that in there. And then we want the value there. And add this value to it. And that'll be our value for Z. And with that, you can see that the goggles fit nicely right on the head. And now that we have it set up in the correct position, we are ready to export these. So go ahead and select them, click Convert to Collada, 
and export them wherever. And this is the reason we set up the, X, uh, the FBX converter. It's because it will automatically convert the Collada files to FBX once they're exported. And the reason you need to do this is because as of the time of I'm making this video, Blender does not support importing the normals for the model with Collada files, but it does support importing the normals for FBX files. So hopefully they'll uh, change that and then you won't need to use the FBX converter at all. But as of now, that's the best option. Once you've got the models exported, you can delete the Collada files since we don't need them anymore. And then we're going to open up Blender. Once you've got Blender open, you can go ahead and delete the default objects it creates. And then you're going to want to import the FBXs. Now, once you've got them both imported into Blender, the first thing we want to do is select each armature and press N to open this menu here and get rid of the 90 degree rotation on both of these. So now that we've done that, they're oriented correctly. And we can uh, go ahead and start transferring the meshes of this one for the night vision goggles into the head mesh there. So just to make this easier on ourselves, I'm going to rename all of these numbers at the beginning here. So this will become 11. This one will be 10. 9 and so on. You you get the idea. All right, now we've got all of these renamed. So the next thing we're going to want to do is clear all of the vertex groups that these have. So go ahead and go to Object Data Properties and just hit this minus over here to get rid of them. And then just move on to the next mesh and do that for all of them so that they have none left. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and grab all of them. And then if you drag them while holding shift, it'll let you reparent them to the other armature. And that's what we want. And then go ahead and select the original armature that they came from and delete it. And now they are parented to the head armature. But as you can see, their position is completely wrong. So we're going to need to fix that. So all you need to do for that is select all of these, press N to open this menu again, open up Unity again, and then you can see that we set their position here. So go ahead and copy that value, paste it into the location, and before you hit enter here, you want to hold Alt, that'll make it affect all of the meshes instead of just the first one. So Alt, enter, that'll make it affect all of them. And do the same thing for the Z value. And there we go. Now they're positioned correctly. Next thing we need to do is uh, reset up their vertex groups. So uh, you need to specify what bone you want it to belong to. So in this case, we're going to use scale 004 head because that's what the connection point was based on. And we're going to go ahead and use that. So go ahead, add a new vertex group, paste the name in, do that for each of these. And once you've created that for all of them, then we want to move all the vertices into those vertex groups. So go ahead and select it, make sure you're in object mode, then go to edit mode. And all of them will be selected by default. Just hit Assign, and then you can hit Deselect to make sure it actually worked. If you hit Deselect and it deselects them all, and Select and it selects them all, then you've got the uh, vertex group set up correctly. Then you need to go back to Object Mode and select the next mesh. And rinse and repeat this for all of them until they're all in uh, 
the Skell 004 head vertex group. All right. And once you're done that, we just need to set up the correct armature for these because these are still linked to the old one, but the old one doesn't exist. So go to modifier properties and under object here for the armature modifier, just click armature and that'll reparent them to the uh, heads armature. All right, and now that we've done that, if we go into pose mode here, and let's just click rotate, and make sure that it's actually rigged, and we can see that it is. So now the only thing we need to do is, if you look at these... Uh, so we need to get out of pose mode. We look at the positions of these uh, objects we added. We can see that they're not at zero, zero, uh, 0, as they should be. So there's a pretty easy way to do this. And we just need to go to Object, Set Origin, and Set Origin to 3D Cursor. By default, this will be at zero, zero, 0, So if you do that, that will reset them to the correct position. So go ahead and do that for all of them. All right, and with that, we're done. These two models are now attached. So go ahead and export it. And we can just name this test or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then go back into Unity, and we'll see if uh, this worked right. So go ahead and drag in the Collata file. Drag this into the scene, position at 0, 0, 0. And you'll see that it has a X rotation of 270. I don't know why that happens, but if you hit 0, then it's in the correct position. And if you want to be sure that this worked correctly, go ahead and click Generate Bounding Boxes. And if your bounding boxes look correct, which in this case they do, uh, then everything has worked right. And then from there, we just need to apply all the materials and get this set up to be exported. Alright, and once you've got your model set up to be exported, you can go ahead and export FMDL. And I've already set up this folder structure with the model we want to replace. So just go ahead and navigate through that. Replace it. And we'll test it out in game. All right. And now that we're in game, if we go ahead and select the character, pick any male diamond dog. And while we have the balaclava equipped, you can see that the balaclava has the night vision goggles. And they're rigged correctly. And we did it all using Blender. Nothing overly complicated. Uh, basically the same process as 3ds Max. You just do it in a different way. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped. And I will see you guys in another video.